following on from the previous two videos, we got to this stage here. We, we were trying to solve this, and then we got to this stage here. We got to this stage here. So our, our first set of solutions would be this, plus multiples of 2 pi. Our second set of solutions would be this, plus multiples of 2 pi. So um, so now let's, let's look at the first set of solutions. Let's look at this one here. That will then give us this. Um, we, we, would, we, we would look at this later on. Okay, so, so now we are trying to solve x. We are trying to solve x. So uh, add pi over 2 to both sides. That will then give us this thing here. So now you've got three blocks. One, two, three. This n here uh, changes because n, remember, n belongs to set, a set of integers. So this is just a number. This is just a number. Merge these two together. So um, so so that would then give us that would then give us for well, a time seven bottom here by three. So that would be three pi plus seven pi. That would be ten pi. And then this stays the same. Um, that would then take us to here. So now um, now simplify this. So that would then give us this thing here. And then let's um, uh, oh, now to get x on its own, divide both sides by three. So here you've got two blocks. Uh, you, you've got three blocks here, divide everything by three. So um, divide this by three, that will then give you this. Divide, divide this by three, divide it by three, it gets multiplied to the bottom, that will give you a nine. And then divide this by three, that will then give us this. So x equals this thing here. Okay, so, so x equals this, x equals this thing here. Let's, um, let's get the two denominators to be the same. So let's times top and bottom here by 3. So 3 times 2, that would be 6. And then 3 times 3, that would be 9. So all, so all our solutions would be of this form here, where n, n you can put n, you can put any integer into the end here. So, um, so but, but don't put negative 1, okay? If you put negative 1 into here, uh, our, first solution, our first solution would be pi over 9 and then plus. If you put negative 1 into, into this end here, it will give you minus um, 6 pi over 9. Then that would then equal uh, minus pi over 9. You see, our solutions must be between 0 and 4 pi. This is less than 0. So, so we, we shouldn't be putting uh, negative 1 in there because... We, we, we want our solution to be between 0 and pi. So hang on. Remember, n can be 1, 2, 3, any integer here. Let's put 1 into, into the n. So, sorry, let's, let's put 0 into the n first. Put 0 into the n. This whole thing here would disappear. So our first solution would be this thing here. Then put 1 into the n. Put 1 into the n. So that would be, uh, our second solution would be, 5 pi over 9. When you put 1 into the end, it will be plus 6 pi over 9. So this would be 11 pi over 9. So our second solution would be 11 pi over 9. And then let's put 2 into the end here. So, um, so, our, so our third solution would be 5 pi over 9 plus. When you put 2 into the end here, it would then be uh, 2 times 6, and that would be 12 pi over 9. So this would be 17 pi over 9. And then the next one would be us putting a 3 into the end. That would then give us this. Uh, and then put a 4 into there. And by the way, we, we, can go, um, we can go up. Well, let's put a 4 into the 9 here. Sorry, let's put a 4. Hang on. Let's put... Uh, well, in, in a way, if you, uh, if you put the... Th 3, if you put the 4 into this end here, uh, 4 times 6 will be uh, 24 pi over 9, and then this, this thing here would be 5 pi over 9, add the 2 together, so that would be 29 pi over, 29 pi over 9, and so on. R remember, you can go up to, you can go up to 30, you can go up to 36 uh, pi over 9 because 4 times 9 here we've gone up to 35 uh, beyond that it will be over 36 but we, we want our solution well the point here is you can go up to 36 because 4 times 9 anyway all these are our first set of solutions here
Okay, so now uh, going back to here, hang on. So, right at the start of this video, we looked at this set of solutions. Now we are going to, so, so this has been taken care of. Now we need to look at this set of solutions. Okay, so, so now looking at this, remember it's 11 pi over 6. So, hang on, 11 pi over 6. Wait there, let me think. Uh, Hang on, let me think, where am I? Uh, yeah, so we are now here, 11, 11 pi over 6 plus multiples of 2 pi. And then what was in this bubble was 3x minus pi over 2, which would then take us to here. Now add this block to both sides. That would then give us this thing. Merge these two together. That would then give us this thing here. And then divide everything by, by uh, let me think, Div from here. Um, divide everything by three, so that will then give us that will then give us. I made a mistake. I made a mistake here. That will then give us this. Um, so hang on, hang on. from here. Sorry, hang on. From here. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Hang on. Let's go back to here. From here, simplify this. That will then give us this thing here. And then from here, divide everything by three. That will then give us this. And then, uh, and then now get the two denominators to be the same. So times top and bottom by three. So that would then give us this thing here. So, uh, so from here we can we can easily solve this. So hang on. So our first solution would be well that. So so this is our this is our set of solutions here. This is our set of solutions here where m can be any integer. Okay. So let's put uh, zero into the m put zero into the m so this when you put zero into the m this whole thing here disappears so our first solution would be this now let's put one into the m put one into the m it would be six plus um, plus this that would be 13 uh, basically you add six pi here 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 that would then take you to this but this is actually beyond our four pi because the highest that it can be would be 4 times 9, that would be 36. The, the highest this thing here could be is 36, but we've got 37. So we've gone above it, so we, we need to discard this, because all our, all our x must be in between 0 and 4 pi. So this would be all our solutions. So, hang on. Going back to the very, very beginning, we were trying to solve this. Our first set of solutions would be this. Second set of solutions would be this. So what that means is this. Um, our first set of solution. Uh, this is our first solution, which would be this one here. This thing here would be this. Sorry, hang on. Let's start again. This thing here would be this, and then when you add, um, what the, the next one would be would be you jumping to here. So this thing here would then be this thing here, and then you jump another one. So that would be this one here. Jump another one. That would be this one here. Jump another one. That would be this one here. Jump this one, and then that would be this one here. You can't jump another one because you would go beyond four pi. And then our our, our second set would be here. So this thing here will relate to this point here. Jump one one step. That would then take you to here. Jump another step. That would then take you to here. And then jump another one. That would then take you to here. Jump another. Where where am I? Um, well, anyway, jump another step. That will then take you to here, and then you can't jump another step because it's beyond four pi. So, so all our solutions would be here. Okay. So uh, to answer the question, you have to list all everything here. Okay.